The next one is the talking animals. Stories like the three pigs or, or the three bears or Henny Penny, Goosey Lucy, you know, all of those kinds. The Br'er Rabbit stories, the Anansi stories. My very favorite one, which all of you ought to know, but I don't know if I've told it to you. If I have, I haven't told it for so many years, I'm going to do it anyway, is the story of the three billy goats gruff. You must have. I know you have. But it's very short, so I have time. Once upon a time, a long, long time ago, in a far, far away country called Norway, there lived three goats, and the name of all three goats were the Billy Goat Scruff. Now, these goats had a huge problem because in order to go up into the mountains to get grass, which is nice and juicy up there, they had to go across the bridge. And underneath this bridge lived the most hideous troll you had ever laid your eyes on. He was huge, enormous creature with eyes as big as pewter plates and a nose as long as a poker. But there was no way around it. Across the bridge they had to go. So the first one to go across the bridge was the teeniest, tiniest of the three little goats. And when he walked across the bridge, he made a teeny tiny bridge, little noise like this, and he went trip, trap, trip. Who's stepping over my bridge? Roar the troll. It's only me. I'm the tiniest, tiniest of the three little baby billy goats, and, and I'm on my way up into the monster. Get the fat. Well, I'm going to come and gobble you up now, roared the troll. Oh, 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 please don't eat me up. Why don't you wait a little while until my brother comes? He's really a lot bigger and fatter than I am. All right, then roared the troll, and off ran that little goat as fast as he could go. Now the next one to go across the bridge was the second of the three goats, and when he walked across the bridge, it made a sound like this. He went, trip, trap, trip, trap. Who's oh, stepping over my bridge, roared the troll. <gasps> it's only me. I'm, I'm the second of the three. Billy goes in and, and, and I'm on my way up into the monster. Get that, that. Well, I'm going to come and gobble you up now, roared the troll. Oh, please don't eat me up. Oh, why don't you wait a little while until my br br big brother comes in? He's really a lot bigger pattern. I think he's tastier too. All right, then, roar the troll. And off ran that little goat as fast as he could go. Now, the next one to go across the bridge was the biggest of the three goats. He was just huge. His fur was shimmering and shining. He had these two gigantic horns in front of his head. And he was so heavy that when he walked across the bridge, it sounded like thunder. Anyway, drip. Trap, trip, trap, trip. Who's stepping over my bridge? Roared the troll. It's me. I'm the biggest of the three Billy Goats Gruff, and I'm on my way up into the mountains to get fat. Well, I'm going to come and gobble you up now, said the troll. Well, why don't you come along? I've got two spears. With those, I'll poke out your eyeballs at your ears. I've got two curly stones. With those, I'll break your body and bones. And he went at that troll. He broke every bone in his body, poked his eyes out, and he shoved him way down into the river. And then he went with his brothers up into the mountains where they ate and got so big and so fat that if the fat hasn't fallen off them yet, what? They're still there. Or oh, snip, snap, snoote, hat, ad, even teeter, ute. All right, you're doing good. So, what kind of movies or TV shows do you have that are about talking animals? Do you have today? SpongeBob SquarePants. Okay, what else? Think of all those Disney movies. Bam, Lion King. A Bambi, Lion King. Beauty and the Beast. Yeah, that's more, that's, that's, we'll get to that one. No, not the Cinderella. Those are not just talking animals. Think of which Winnie the Pooh. Yeah, that's talking, that's talking toys. That's called the fantasy. And the difference is that they're based on the book which has a known author. So those, ha those are not out of the oral tradition. Remember, the difference is author versus no author. 
all folk tales have no known author that we know about. So good, good observation, but they belong in the literary fantasy genre, not in the traditional folk tale. Because Winnie the Pooh is written by A. A. Milne, remember? But so what, what's the one with the dog and the cat that disappeared over the mountains, you know, and got lost and all that stuff? Homeward Bound! That was a good example, right? There's a million Disney movies that are based on exactly that kind of a theme. So that's a very popular one. And